Hey, what up fellas? So night fishing feels a little bit like cheating and that's just because it makes it easier to catch some crazy fish. And we have a couple things up our sleeves that's gonna make it a little bit, maybe even better. First of all, we got our super old kayak. We're gonna bust out, see if it still floats. Got a replacement $20 seat right there. But our real secret is right here, the over the head backpack light. Used to have a camera at the top of it, but after using it in salt water, like I probably shouldn't, a lot of the parts got rusted out. So, so we're relegated to having a light, which it might be even better. Now, what I think this is gonna do for us is first of all, it's gonna give us some light to actually be able to see what we're doing at night. But also, one thing that lights do at night in the water is they can attract bait fish and the bait fish may attract some bigger fish for this. Stingray resistant wading boots for resisting stingrays. Backpack mounted LED panel for night vision and attracting fish. Ogre grip for weighing a state record. Tactical light for tactical light. And modified wade belt for everything else. All right, we got out the old yak. <laughs> it's so lightweight and it's so low to the water. Hopefully it still floats. A lot of newer yaks these days, they sit way high up, but not this one. Freaking 20 bucks seat. Oh, we're out here in the little piece of plastic, man. This thing, I'm just happy it's floating right now and it might just be barely floating. There's a crack up here and it looks like it's getting wet. So, so far we're doing it. We're getting to the spot. Here, right before sunset. Perfect timing. And there goes my paddle. Woo! This anchor does not hold in this wind. We're gonna be in trouble. Since we're in the daytime, I'm starting off with the slick lure in a little bit lighter color. Once it, once it does turn to night, we will switch it to probably a darker color. All right, it's time to put on the dumbest thing any of us have ever seen, and I feel really dumb wearing it, but it might be good, okay? Do I look cool, guys? I'm ready to go fishing, boy. I feel dumb as hell. How about this guy, too, the tactical light? You know, it's all gonna be good as long as we catch some fish. If not, this was a tremendous embarrassment. Let me show you what the tackle box is looking like today. We got the slick lures in there and we do have some darker colors. That is gonna be the key, maybe during the night. And we also have some down south lures that the slicks are not working out. But there's also the top waters and even the emergency corky. We'll see what happens. Now I'm a smart guy. I put this on the side where I cast from. So we're gonna have to cast from the other side. There's a guy. We're in here. Okay, there's fish boys. There are confirmed fish. This feels like not even a bad one, to be honest. Bigger than a dink at least. And that's what we like to see. Sun is down now, we're in, we're in that twilight period. This is a great time to get bites, but we're gonna see if they're, they're gonna be biting after as well. That's a nice fish. Damn, that's a nice fish, boys. Holy cow, first fish. Boys, we're freaking in here. 21 incher right there, dude. There's gonna be bigger than that too, I'm hoping. With all my heart, I'm hoping. I knew it was gonna be a good day. <laughs> I knew about 30% chance it was, it was gonna be a good day. Let's go. Let's see a fella. The slick. I'm loving the slick. Uh, fellas, there might be some magic that happens tonight. Lock it in. Golly, look at all these birds. They know that 30 inch trout's coming, so they're leaving the area. I'm always incredibly impressed how, how fish can find the lure, even when it's pretty damn dark out. It's not even that dark yet, but even with this clear color, it's, it's surprising they can find it. So we do have a couple different strategies. Right here, we started with a weighted hook with this clear soft plastic. That's because we are fishing three to four feet, a little bit deeper, and I think those fish are near the bottom. But I think we will switch to a weightless, darker colored bait, just because those, fe those fish are gonna be feeding up, because that's where, when they can see the silhouettes. <clears throat> There's a better one. Oh yeah, he's on top too. That's a little bit better. Maybe it's not. Oh yeah, a little drag. Let's see what size we got here. This might be another, maybe. Well, it's gonna be bigger than the, the ones we've been catching other than the first guy. We'll see, we'll see. Man, I'm, oh, we put a little drag. This is, oh, this might be a red. Or it might be a nice red fish, or a nice, nice trout. That's a nice trout. Nice one. 
Holy! This guy's crazy! He's a crazy, oh my god! Usually they go crazy like that when they're foul hooked. Man, that's a nice fish! Holy cow. Hold on, bud, hold on. That's a nice one, boys! That might be the biggest one so far. This one is a little bit bigger. Dang. The slick, boys? That slick lure got him, boys. That's another nice one, dude. Woohoo! About a 21 incher. All right, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna, it's not completely dark yet, not even close, really. But we're gonna switch that darker color just so we can get a little bit of confidence in it. One thing about me is I don't have a lot of confidence in darker colors. So I think it's gonna be important for us to catch a few fish with it before it gets super dark. And not a bad looking color right there either. The black back with the gold belly. Oh, I hate to say it, fellas. We did get a few bites on the darker color, but man, very, a lot, a lot fewer than we did have on the pink. So I'm gonna try the pink one more time and see if that's really what's happening is, it may also just be time to switch to a lighter weight or even a paddle tail. Well, the sun, the sun went down all the way. It's pretty dark out now, and the bite has down, died down a lot. But there's finally a fish. Fish on the darker soft plastic, finally, man. It's not a terrible fish, but not exactly what we're looking for. We're looking for bigger. We're gonna keep sticking it out. Well, night has fully set in now, and the bite kind of died off. So we're moving spots. We're gonna look for a little bit shallower spot. Hopefully we can throw that slick lure up there and find some fish. The sunset bite was pretty damn good. We caught like 10, 10, 12 fish and then it kind of died off instantly. But I think it should pick up here as it gets more into night. Spooky too, man. There, there could no doubt be some sharks anywhere around me and I would have no way of knowing. Not to mention stingrays, that's, that's the real villain. It's always fun walking around when you can't see anything. Still going in with the slick lure, slowly building some confidence on these darker colors. And that's what I need because at nighttime, Darker colors are really the only thing that makes sense. Well, switch up spots. First cast, instant fish, dude. Let's go. Oh. Got the double light system going on. This might be a little bit better one even. Nah, he's freaking not hooked right. <laughs> Small guy. You never know when those big girls are going to be swimming by soon, though. I think it may happen. Woo! There might be a little bit better one. Switched up to the down south lure. Supermodel. It's still a decently sized soft plastic, but it does not have as much weight there. So it didn't cast as far. And it's not even a big guy. I thought it was a better one. So we did have to move up a little bit just so we could cast to where these fish are. What we're doing now is we're in a little bit deeper water and we're throwing out that direction towards a little a little bar with a little bit of grass on it and they're kind of hunkered down on that bar. So with this lighter bait, we had to move up. What's also happening too is I'm getting a lot of bites when this bait is a little bit higher up in the current. So that tells me maybe it's time to switch to even, even lighter weight. We just switched to this eighth ounce, but we might have to go weightless. Fellas, we found something incredible here, man. I've been standing in this same spot for about 30 minutes and I've just been reeling in fish after fish. I thought the bite had ended and then I realized my bait was missing a tail. Now we got a new bait with a tail on it. So let's see if these fish are still here. I'm telling you, man, I've, I've probably caught like 40 fish without even moving my legs. It's insane how many fish there are. Kind of weird. I'm just doing a straight retrieve and they're biting it. It's crazy, dude, how many fish there are here. That's why we needed that tail because all we're doing is that straight retrieve. It's incredible how many fish are here, dude. There must be so much bait. Here's a smaller guy. There are a lot of smaller guys mixed in, but there have been some nice fish as well. So, woo! Mostly 15, 16, 17 inches, but I've also caught, caught a couple over 20 as well. When there's this many fish, this much bait, I'm sure there's a ton of bait around. It's gotta attract some bigger fish. Those bigger fish could be eating these smaller fish too. I keep forgetting, I keep jigging it like I normally use it, and then I straight retrieve it, and I just catch a fish instantly. This is insane. Just hitting it on the straight retrieve, man. It, it's kind of, I mean, that's night fishing, right? These fish, they're, like I said, they're looking up for the bait just to see that silhouette, and they're using their lateral, lateral line as well. So we're keeping it closer to the, 
to the surface with that straight retriever and they're eating it up. See, look, we got a nicer one here. That's a nice fish. Holy, he freaking gobbled it too, boys. That's a gobbler. Man, this is an insane bite, man. We're lifting the trout. Don't shake on me, bud. Woo. Oh, he's shaking. And he's ripping my thumb. Yes, I deserve that for trying to lip a speckled trout. 20 and a half. Crazy, man. Thanks for the bite. Oh, my teeth. This is one of the best bites I've ever been on for some speckled trout. Now we have our lights on, so let's see if they keep biting, even with all our lights on. Sometimes lights are good if, if the fish have known the light is there, but sometimes you'll turn on your head cam after you've been catching some fish, and then they stop biting. But they are not stopping, man. I, I haven't moved, man. I, it had to be like 40, 50 fish by now. I was jerking it. I've been jerking. I've been doing my usual retrieve, kind of just jerking it around a little bit. And I was catching some fish, but once I started just straight retrieving it, I'm catching fish after fish after fish. And we are throwing that down south lure on this on this weedless hook. I was saying there could be sharks, but this time of year, not really any sharks. But there's definitely some stingrays. Thank God we don't have any gators around. I think there used to be one in the area, but no longer. Hopefully. Finally moved out of that shallower spot, and I think we got a little bit better guy. Look at that guy. That's a nice, that's a nice trout right there. Woo! Oh man, that's a freaking handful right there, boys. Let's go. That might be up there with the biggest of today. Yep, 22. Let's go, boys. Well, plus that was up there as the most fish I've ever caught in one day or night. And as you've guessed, I haven't done a ton of night wade fishing in the past, so I really did learn a lot. One of the main things I learned is the slick lure, it was getting it. I, I thought, I thought since it is a little bit of a thicker soft plastic, even though it doesn't have a paddle tail, it would still move a lot of water. But once the sun went down and I did switch to the down south lure, even though it has a smaller paddle tail, I, I just started getting a lot more bites. And one of the reasons for that is something I learned from tarpon fishing is a straight retrieve with a paddle tail, especially at night for trout because they're gonna be looking up, like I said, just for that silhouette. And if you're doing a straight retrieve with a slick, it's gonna look pretty stupid because there's not gonna be a lot of action. With the paddle tail, it's gonna give you some decent action and when they see it up there, they're gonna go and get it. As for the backpack mounted light, it was pretty sick. It allowed us to see, allowed us to record, but I'm not sure it attracted a ton of fish to us. I think it could be a couple things. Might just not be bright enough, or maybe we just need to get something brighter. Hey, I love you guys very much. We'll see you guys next time.